So, Robert, can you explain this? Contraction? Yes. Well, what this is, is a way for us to relate the measurement we just took to an orthotic. But the whole important thing with measurement is that it gives us a way to control the process. That we're not guessing, we're not taking any wild, you know, estimates as to what is going on. Because what we want to do is we've basically created a mechanical instrument that replicates the horse's back that can be precisely changed that by handling, by using these threads, we can lift and lower this whole mechanism and change the shape. So we could change, for instance, the center section, which would change the arc here, or we could change the angle there. So we have total control of the shape of the orthotic all the way through the process. Now, we then put this in an oven, and we take this shape and this plastic, and we're then able to mold it to whatever we want. Now, from there, right now, what I'll do is we will then further mold it because we know that Mikey has rather, rather large shoulders. So what we're going to do is we're going to roll these edges here. That this, <coughs> if we put it on Mikey, we can see that because it's so broad here, that what's happening is, is that we've got to adjust this to free this up to allow the orthotic to actually come down on it. So what I'll do is I'll use a heat gun and I'll mold this immediately. So we want this to touch here we or don't, no? We're, we're we trying, want it to create space. Right. We're trying to okay. keep the scapulas free. Okay. But we want to have contact all the way down right. with your weight on it. But the problem is we can't get that because right now we've got the thing because of the spine being so wide mm -hmm. that we're hitting right there. So what we have to do is relieve that and that's what I'll do immediately. Wow. You can do it right here. Right here. Uh, this is a uh, infrared uh, thermometer. So you're running that. Now, look at what we're able to do here. See how this is molding? See, so you've got total control, but the rest of the structure remains holding together. So we can actually completely change it. So if we know what we need to do, is that good for shoes or what? <laughs> I wish I could do that with shoes. Isn't that wild? <laughs> So now we had a very tight situation with Mikey that we just got rid of. So we want a little bit more here, and we're fine. Okay, now you just saw how we were able to move the plastic, and what we did is we flared the edges here to get away from his large muscles on the spine here. Now, one of the other things that's important about this is that since we don't have anything over the spine, we, that is relieved totally. Now, remember that it's going to be in a pad, so it's actually going to be raising up. Okay. So now, what we can see is, is that we've got the scapula covered, and then you can look at the same on the other side. But notice that the scapula on one side is here, and the turn is here, that there's actually quite a difference on this horse one side mm -hmm. to the next. Right. Now what we're going to do is go in and by braille with the computer figure out what's happening from there. Because there's no way to really understand the total dynamics between your weight and the horse's back and the foam and all the little pieces. Obviously you don't want to put the hard plastic directly on the horse. So what we're doing is that we have this foam which is Sunland foam, which is made for us by Skeeto. Mm -hmm. And this is the only foam that I've seen over 10 years that makes a difference. Now, it doesn't work every time. You know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but generally, it's on my radar screen as a good product, which is why I've uh, used it. Now, the other reason I'm using Skeeto is that it permits you to have any color, any shape. You want purple polka dots anything. So what you're now getting coupled is a custom fit orthotic for the horse mm -hmm. with whatever pad you want. If you want quilts, dressage riders want to have quilts, no I want to have uh, wool, no I want to have a blend. All It's basically total custom. And if you go to the website you can see that there are just so many different ways that this thing can be configured. 
And luckily, I've got an Oracle database to be able to do that. So we just slip this in. So they designed this especially for your product? No, actually, Oracle's come out with this new product called the Small Business Suite. But I, the saddle for this. Oh, yeah, Skeeto. Skeeto. Yeah, Skeeto makes this for us so that we have the, the, the best pad that I'm aware of available in the U.S. Uh, coupled with this orthotic. Mm. So you now have a full structure that wow. goes on to the horse and everything is put together. Great. Looks so very handsome. Now what? Now what we'll do is we'll test with the computer. Now, you can see the fleece that's going against the horse and then it's able to have the flares buried, buried in there. Okay. And now we put the, the saddle, saddle on and you jump aboard and okay. we find out if he can eat his own dog food. Full contact, we don't have a problem, but we do have a serious problem on the far side there. So we can go in there and mold this away. But what's noticed here at first level is we don't have a serious bridge. We've got basically blue all the way through. And what we can do is we'll just go in and since I know where the problem is, I'll just move it away. We can compare the computer scan with that. And where we see the problem actually is we've got it up in this area. But what we have to do is take you can see that we got the clearance here. We're not getting any pressure around this edge, but if you look over to the computer, you can see that it's right through here. So what I'm going to do is move that up. It's so good. Can you see that? Can you see it? We got the outboard side. Okay. Okay, so we got a couple of spots here that have developed. Now that we're easing that off, we still have a little point up there where it's giving us some trouble and a little farther back and right there on the other side. So what, what we're doing is that we're using measurement on a couple of levels here that we use the computer system to identify that we had a problem with saddle fit. We then were able to get the gauge and with the gauge we were able to then create a formula and from the formula we were able to then be able to take the gauge, turn it into a jig, which then allows us to make this plastic part that we then go back to the computer to take it the rest of the way. So you have a feedback loop controlling the whole process. Okay, so what you can see is that by using the computer and having this plastic so that it's able to be molded, uh -huh. that we can keep going through this over and over and you can get any fit you want. I mean, you may want a barrel racer with a wider scapula because you want it really free. You can just go on and on with this process, and this is basically, you're just seeing what the process is. Great. Hey, That's check it out. <laughs> Good happens, perfect. Joe. Thank you so much. You're Good welcome. Happens. You're welcome. <laughs> Hoorah. Good job. I wasn't too sure about you before, Robert, but you're all right. Robert.